So if you're interested in how I make this quick, easy, and healthy meal, stay tuned. Hi guys, it's Twinkle123 here with a quick video on how I make my chicken stir fry. Um, we're all trying to lose a few pounds getting ready for um, summer, and so what the best way to start is to start early and with something quick, fast, and easy. So we're going to go ahead and start with the ingredients. Um, here I have some Tyson um, grilled and ready chicken breast strips. Um, you can also use the chicken um, breast um, that's already diced up, which is which would be much easier. I just happen to have the strips in my freezer, so I went with those. Next, we're going to take our minute brown rice ready to serve. Um, I love these because they only take like 60 minutes. You, I'm sorry, 60 seconds. You stick them in the microwave um, for about a minute, and then they're good to go. Next, we have the cut broccoli. I usually use a frozen bag of the 16-ounce cut broccoli from any of your um, grocery stores in the frozen section. Um, broccoli is so good for you, so many um, nutrients, um, and very easy to cook. Next, we're going to go to our vegetables, which we're going to use half a cup of the red bell peppers, one cup of um, the frozen um, onions, chopped onions, and then one cup of the frozen green peppers. We're also going to use some pepper, and we're going to use some salt, some seasoning salt, and then just a little bit of the olive oil to coat our skillet. The next um, veggies are optional. I like to use one cut up seedless um, jalapeno. So I, I cut it open and then take the seeds out and I cut it up and add it to it. And then just a little bit of garlic for taste. Again, that's optional. If you don't like to add that, don't even worry about it. Now we're going to go ahead and get our stove set to medium. So you, that's about five or six. Um, get a pretty um, decent skillet non-stick and then we're going to add a little bit of our olive oil to coat the skillet. Now we're going to add half a bag of those Tyson strips um, and I'm going to kind of just move them around so they can evenly be distributed in the skillet so they can all get around the same amount of heat. Then we're going to add our veggies, one cup of onions and um, green bell peppers and half a cup of the red bell peppers. Now we're going to add our whole bag of the cut broccoli and then that's the optional garlic and then the optional um, jalapeno peppers just cut up now we're going to take our seasoning and I, at this point you can season the taste but I usually do about one to two teaspoons of salt and then um, grind up my pepper which I like um, the, the pepper the grinder because it kind of gives me a, a sense of how much I'm actually putting in there and I love fresh pepper um, and then, of course, a little bit of the seasoning salt as well. And like I say, if you're not a big salt person, you can just put a little bit of salt or skip the salt altogether. But I say season to taste and only you would really know what you like. So we're going to go ahead and let this cook for about 15 minutes. And then we're going to check it. So this is the 15 minutes later. And you can see how um, all the veggies are cooking through and the chicken has softened up quite a bit. I'm also going to take this time to go ahead and cut up the chicken, dice it up, because um, it's soft, soft enough to do that now. And if you buy the diced chicken, you don't even have to really worry about that. Like I said, all I had was um, in my freezer at the time was the strips, which work just the same. I just usually take an extra um, couple of minutes here and just dice them up after they have cooked for about 15 minutes. And they dice up really nice and easy because they're so tender. Um, but I usually do get the, the, the diced up chicken. And so we're just going to finish dicing these up. I'm getting that one that's kind of wanting to be a little tough and rough with me, but we're going to get her most definitely. Alrighty, and so now that we have um, our chicken pretty much diced up, we're just going to go ahead and stir it around, making sure that we're getting all that heat throughout all of that goodness. And it's smelling so good, y'all. Oh, my gosh. It smells so good. Oh, I love it, love it, love it. All right. And so while that's cooking, we're going to let it cook for about another 15 or so minutes just so we can make sure that it's getting all of the vegetables and all of the chicken thoroughly cooked and um, 
and properly cooked. And all right, so we've been about 15 minutes later, and I'm going to go ahead and get my rice cooking. So we're going to just take one package and stick it in the microwave for about 60 seconds. You just peel off the top of that little um, container, and you stick it in the microwave. And while it's cooking, I'm going to keep stirring because we want to make sure that everything is cooked evenly and together. And all right, and now that our rice is done, we're going to take um, a napkin because it will be hot and wrap it around it as you get it out the microwave and just kind of spread it evenly around um, the skillet. And so now that we have done that, we're just going to stir, 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 stir. Make sure that that rice is evenly distributed among the skillet so that every bite will be a little bit of everything. So, oh my gosh, y'all, it smells so good. Oh my goodness. Okay, and so after the rice is in there, I let it stay in there for about another mm, three to five minutes or so, not too long. Cut the heat down to about a three. And now I'm going to go ahead and serve. Oh, look at that, y'all. My goodness. It's so lovely. Look at that. Look at that. Full of nothing but goodness. Good, healthy food that is filling and did not take long at all to cook. So I'm going to put that to the side because that is what I'm eating. And I'm going to get some containers so that I can freeze the rest of this. And that's usually what I take to work. Or if I feel like eating something um, later, I'll have it um, frozen and I can just put stick it in the microwave for about three to five minutes and I'm good to go. You can also do stir fry um, potatoes. You can do stir fry fajitas. You can do a lot with those. So you just stick them in the refrigerator and you always have a uh, freezer. I'm sorry. And you always have a meal um, on the go and ready for you whenever you're ready to go. Alrighty guys, I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the